Welcome everyone to this first uh, fourth lesson um, which will cover the usage of the Arc Catalog which will allow you to manage your geodata in a very easy and handy way so you will go with or if you would like to start the Arc Catalog there's once the possibility to use the catalog window which is just a little area area over here but you can also use your start button go to the ArcGIS folder and there choose Arc Catalog 10. Arc Catalog will open and you can connect to a folder using this button so if you're having your working uh, working directory in in, an, uh, in another directory on your hard drive or on some other device maybe also in your LAN network or some somewhere you should use this button to connect to your folder to get access to this so I will now collect connect to ArcGIS tutorial and as you can see here now um, every information is um, listed over here in so-called thumbnails uh, well the detailed section will be a little bit better in this case so we will go into the current folder which is called chapter 4 and there is the data data is a folder and what is inside this is the shape is the are two shape files flight diverge flight path and a geo database a personal geo database so we'll just open this geo database and in this one you will have feature classes like world 30 countries and so ever so um before I will go into detail, I would like to show you uh, some, or there there was often the question in my seminars regarding GIS, uh, what is the difference between a layer file and a shape file? So, uh, I will show you. This is a preview of the shape file. No information is given except the geometry. So there are lines reaching from this point to this and to this. So uh, you all also have the table, so every information is stored as well in the shapefile. But you don't get any idea about, um, or if you're if you're using this shapefile in in the project, you will arrange the color of the shape and the representation of lines and so on. And all this information is stored in the layer file for that so the layer file you can also have a look on the table oh there is a table because it is connected both of them are connected um, when we will go into um, if you're going into the uh, into your data folder with the window uh, with the Explorer let's go there you will have a lot of other files available for um, for this shape file container or something like that so um, this is one thing so I've already used it but I would like to introduce them as well so there are three tabs contents preview where you will get a preview of either geography or the table beyond that so this is in this case uh, just the features and more or less a description if this is available and it is um, yeah so I will open now countries there's a description there's a preview and um, this is quite impressive if you would like to see what is inside the folder we have we where oh, we were able to see um, already the uh, these um, little yeah how to call it snapshots or yeah uh, it is called thumbnails in this case um, I would like to show you how to create new or more expressing thumbnails so let's go to the flight path dot shape or dot layer and there on the preview and I would like to create a new thumbnail that's it let's go back to the folder go to contents and you will have a new thumbnail from your um, from your layer let's go also to flight diverse 
diverge that layer, go to the preview, once again create a thumbnail. Open the contents of the of the file. There we are. The folder. There we are. Let's go into the geo database. I have already created the thumbnail for the layer called countries. And regarding this, I would also like to have a look on the description. The, the description is very good for that layer. In this case, normally, if you will create your own shape files, you won't describe it so much. Um, but you should do, which is quite important especially if you're in a bigger environment so you're not working for yourself or you're part of a big project so everyone knows what you have you changed who has who has created that database and so on so what you can do in this case is you can edit the uh, shape file so you can give it another title so countries in the year 2000 maybe and tax we will create something else with ocean or something like that and the summary is quite fine credits will go to myself I'm so good um, uh, limitation well there's the SRE, uh, SRE license agreement embedded here so we will save it and as you may see all it's um, all it's changed the validate button I will use now. Let's have a look what it will do. Nope. Oh, well, that was a failure and I don't like them. Um, yeah, I would like to use the... No, thanks. Um, well, maybe the validate button is... Um, is not the best function in this case well we will stay like that um, there's also the the um, differentiation if you would like to view your contents you can either use thumbnails details list or large icons for that so um, as you have seen in the previous section for a file let's say here countries again um, you will have something like a little area for your GIS information but so you can also choose the identify button and you will get an information about the uh, features or the parameters or the dimension of that shape file afterwards so also use this one this is Antarctica addressing minus 99,000 population and so on and well that's it for the moment um, yeah I think we are finished here. Thank you for watching.